We're going to know how long the video is now. Okay. Forever. So, welcome welcome back. back. Oh, I hate when we do that. What are the We're bourbons? <laughs> He's Dan. I'm Sean. A little, a little Saturday content. Oh, God. <clears throat> pretzel about killed me. <clears throat> I haven't a pretzel in four years either, which is oh, super God. Um, Yeah, a little Saturday content is what Sean was going to say. A little uh, sponsored luxury cigar club July box action. Strap in. We're going to smoke some... Strap in, bitch. We're going to... That's how confident I am that's the right pour. We're going to pick a couple whiskeys. We already did pick the whiskeys. We picked a couple cigars out of the box. Which this, we did. This month, we're going to go through the box, go through the cigars, talk about the cigars. Yeah. Um, we can talk about the pairings a little bit, but it's going to be focused on the cigars in the box. So, I think we've already talked a couple months about the value. This month, no exception. Yeah. Did you want seven cigars instead of five this month? Anyways. Accomplished. Um, this month's box, like we said, sponsored by Luxury Cigar Club. I think you get uh, free shipping in your first month's box with code on the screen. Go and check them out, LuxuryCigarClub.com. Yep. Thank you for sponsoring this video. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about some cigars and drinks and whiskey. Let's go. This is what I like to call the... God, what are you doing to this thing? Uh, it works flawlessly. Is that why you hate it? Yeah. Because yours work, looks like somebody pooped on it. Looks like your V cutter, V cut a turd. Like that's <laughs> what your V cutter looks like. I picked the Don Carlos Fuente. It's a 2015, this is an anniversary uh, edition. And this is supposed to be a hitter of a cigar. They use the same, uh, I believe the same leaf on the uh, wrapper as the uh, Opus X thing. I mean, it does say this cigar sports a Dominican shade crown leaf that is used in the Opus X. Nailed it. Yeah. Cigar Sam. Okay. So you got a, a profile, full wrapper, Dominican, binder, Dominican, filler size, Dominican. Sounds like a good Dominican cigar. I said cigar filler size because it says filler in size. Filler Dominican size, 5.75 by 52. My favorite size is Dominican, so that's good. <laughs> Not going to let that one go, are you? Smoking outside today because... Well, it's a little hotter than I think both of us would prefer, but somewhere in the 90s, I think, or something like that right now. That is correct. But we can't run the AC in the hut and smoke these right now because we like to take the noise gate off when we do like actual content at the table. You can't take the table or the noise gate off, blah, 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 so on and so forth. We're outside. It's actually, there's a nice breeze. It could be drastically worse outside. I am smoking one of the, the extra goodies called the black bag job. So instead of having five, they replace one of them with a, a bag of three. Don't even know what it is. It's just the, the, the one the with the pyramid so on cool. it that looks like the Illuminati picked this one out. The label says so cool. Dominicana on it. The label is awesome on that. Yeah, so like we were saying, this month's box, July, seven cigars. Um, one of them was the firecracker cigar. Yep. Before we get into the cigars real quick, let's talk about the whiskeys. Okay. So, I'm going, listen, you go first, because I have a no reason for mine. Oh, all right. So what I did is I gave it a little smell, licked it a little bit, thought to myself, what would go well with this? And then I settled for Knob Creek 15. I think this will just bring a little little bit of lightness to this, this cigar. It smells off the, just the smell of the wrapper. It, it smells like there's a, a little bit of meatiness to it. It smells fantastic, that's so we'll bring a little lightness to it with the Knob Creek 15. I chose this Don Carlos. I've had two other Don Carlos that were less limited edition, probably in like the 12, 15, I think they're in the $15 range. Um, they're like little probably Robusto-ish Robusto. sizing. But I picked this cigar and then thought to myself, if I'm going to smoke a limited edition anniversary Don Carlos, then I'm going to pair it with a limited, limited edition, edition, basically anniversary, basically untouchable whiskey. Yeah. That's one of our favorites ever. So. If you're smoking a $30 cigar, you gotta mm. smoke it with a $300 bottle of whiskey. <laughs> Old Forester President's choice. You know, it's not a bad choice. Um, this is batch number 10. Um, listen, we've had two. We killed our other President's choice. Mm -hmm. One of the greatest bottles of whiskey on the market that's still made today. But. I'm very much on fan, or on a, a fan of this on point pairing. I'd love to be on a fan. I am stroking way too hard today. <laughs> yeah, needless to say, the $30 cigar in this month's box, one cigar in the $50 box, 30 bucks. Anyways. And you get seven of them. 
six more other cigars in that box. So then first, we can go back in the First pairing. impression, how are you feeling off yours? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? So Opus X has hmm. this weird thing, and I know this is not labeled in Opus X, so you know. But okay. Opus X has this weird profile where they're like a little bit lighter colored of a wrapper. They're not really dark. They don't come across super strong. They don't come no. across like insanely like just gonna crush your palate. Yeah. But they stand up really like the one of the best prints I ever had was an Opus X, like a light wrapper Opus X, which was the same wrapper as this, into an E.H. Taylor barrel proof. Yeah. One of the best prints I've ever had in my life. Man, this cigar, this feels like uh, it's got good aged tobacco in it. It's super smooth, really good. It's like citrus and leather right now in a good way. Oh, that's interesting. Well, that thing's wrapped. Yeah. This thing's burning like a champ. Yeah. Did it's you use cigar. this thing? I did. I swear to God, this looks like a gimmick. Probably the greatest lighting contraption I've been on the using planet. it for a while now and I, I know. really enjoy it. Sean started using it because Sean actually s somehow guessed how to use it correctly after we used it wrong like three times. Yep. And then I used it today earlier and I'm like, oh, I love it, dude. It's great. Perfect burn every time yeah. we've used it now. So the Lost and Found Multi Dos Bastardos Vintage 2014. You know, six years ago. Didn't there. know that. This one? Okay, go ahead, keep going. Profile, medium, wrapper, African. I don't think I've ever seen an African wrapper on any cigar. So I think that's gonna be wild. I've, okay. Binder, USA, filler, Caribbean. It's just all oh, over the fucking map, dude. I like dude. that, dude. It's like a nice little uh, melting pot. Yeah. Better, yeah, it is a pet project of Robert Caldwell, better known for his brand, Caldwell Cigars. Okay, so that's, that's a little crazy, $9 a stick. For the Caldwell one? Yeah. Holy shit, that was way cheaper than I thought. And that's like a... I've Churchill, smoked, I've the smoked seven by forty nine. I smoked that stick. Okay. I got a hold of a, a good friend named Alec. And yeah. I said, "Hey man, I'm not gonna smoke this one because I want to do it in the video. Yep. Which one should I smoke?" And I sent him a picture of three. Yep. He's mentioned that one. I smoked that one. Guess what? I it's wild, and it's fantastic. Okay, I bet. Like, that's all over. Does the he map. give notes on it? Um, if he does, don't say him. I did a cold draw on that. I'm gonna call it the Caldwell. I know you can, it's not you a Caldwell. You can play back the video. I cut mine and then do a cold draw. I'm not gonna play that back. I, That's fine. Sean's never done it before in his life. Okay. I swear to God. Nope. I started smoking that one the other night. And mind you, that is a long smoke. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's a Churchill. Yeah. It's seven inches. Bro. Well, but it, it doesn't smoke fast. Okay. Like, that, you're burning through that pretty quick. Yeah. That one, the, what? I'm sorry, what's the actual name of it? Lost and Found. Okay, the Lost and Found. That thing, I was at least 45 minutes into it, and I'm like, I might be a, maybe a third well, of the I way through. I think it's the Multitos Bastardos. But it, the yeah, model or whatever is a lost and found. It tastes like citrus. Okay. The most citrus I've ever had in a cigar. That one is pretty lemony. Dude, I literally went, whoa fruit, like okay. immediately. And then like halfway through the cigar, it got a little bit spicier. Okay. And it changed to like a red fruit instead of like a citrus. Okay. And it was awesome. So his tasting notes are creamy notes of chocolate, hints of nutmeg, and cinnamon with a spicy finish. So the spicy- You nailed the, the spicy finish. The spicy right part wasn't there until like at least a third to halfway through the cigar, which is weird. It doesn't, it's not something that changes sizes, but about halfway through for sure, I'm like, ooh. That yeah. draw was Tobacco warms different. Up it was actually like different. It always, it always changes up. Yeah. Good cigars always change up. That cigar, for nine dollars. That's a nine, nine dollar cigar. Stick. The only problem, it's not a problem. The only thing that I didn't love about that cigar was the draw was a little tight. Anyways, okay, the black bag, the the three. The that, second cigar of the box was three cigars. Yep, that was twenty dollars for all three of those. And that's one of those three. And I like that one a lot so far. Yours. Wait, wait, split it. So if we split it up, that's six fifty each. Uh, Minus fifty cents. Yeah. yeah, dude. So six fifty a cigar is not a lot of money. No, that's a hell of a hell of if a If that's deal. a good, if that's a six dollar cigar, that's, that's a good. Fantastic six dollar smoke. Um, anytime I get a, that's a that's a gamble range. Right. Six bucks. Right. Like, eh, I'll try, I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it for six. Um, the three that I would try it just for that label. That's the thing. And All the other three. two in there are banded cool too. Yeah. The other one, the, um, not that, not the, the wrappered one. Yes. Yeah. That's a cool band too. Yeah. They're super artsy. Then we have yours, the old Don Carlos Edicion de Anniversio. $29.90. $30 cigar. That's insane. Hence the president's choice sitting next to us. Have you given notes on that yet? 
Mm, no, but I, don't read them yet. I, okay, I we'll want move to. on then. We'll come back to it. Let me then, do notes right now, try. and then you oh, tell okay. me. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna I'm give far, you time. I'm far enough into I'm it. Give There's, you time to collect. Cigar sounds don't need time. Rip it. Okay, I'm gonna go. Go ahead. Slight woody note. Okay. Maybe I wouldn't. I might go cedar. I might go as far as cedar. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. I'm gonna say stick with woody, leaning on cedar. Okay, going back in tiny bit of what I say earthy, not a lot, like a very minute amount of earthiness. I'll let you know if Dan's read this card here shortly. Okay. Is there something really specific on there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I get a black coffee bean at the very end. It lingers a little bit. Okay. It's the cigar, honestly, it's like almost refreshing. Oh. Like it's almost light. Like the smoke is light. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's weird because- That's how this is. The like we've had Davidoffs that were super creamy, yeah, but not a ton of like. We've talked about this before. It's that weird thing where these really high-end cigars are never blow out your palate. No, wild They're cigars. They're usually a gentle, well put together stick. Okay, do you want the notes? Okay, what did I say? I said woody. Woody. It I does say cedar. I'll give you that. Oh, I said cedar. Yep. The Don delivers notes of deep chocolate, which I'll even give you that for the I was coffee close. bean. I said coffee bean. Coffee bean, which. And then this one, you're not even close. Full white pepper. I haven't had white. We need white pepper. I'll bring it over. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make a, a, a video where we just taste shit. Okay. Has not, just whiskey tasting notes. We're gonna Google whiskey tasting notes. We're gonna buy all of it and we're gonna taste all of it. Perfect. Um, Anyways. And then a pleasant undertone of cedar. I'm so proud of myself right now. Okay. I don't hate any of that. When I said coffee, I obviously we'll meant chocolate on. cover espresso bean. Yep. Obviously is what I meant. The Valkari Moon Valley, which I like that name. Moon Valley makes me want a whole thousand of those cigars MKV. for nighttime. Yeah. Profile, medium. Wrapper, Mexican, binder, Nicaraguan. Filler, Nicaraguan. Size, 6.25 by 52. Which one is that? Show me that what is the looks unbanded like. one. Oh, okay. That um, was a really good cigar. Valkari was founded in 2016. Oh, they're young. Yeah. They're really young. Yeah. So these are a, a science experiment, basically. Okay. What they say. Uh, I'm, I'm on fan. Notes of sweet cream, cedar, paired with coffee or bourbon. It literally says that. Paired with coffee or bourbon? Yeah. Um, 12 bucks. That, that's the unlabeled? That is the unlabeled. 100% on board for 12 bucks, 100% of the time. That cigar, I smoked thinking, because now yeah. listen. Dan's ahead of me on this box. If you want. Oh, I just smoked a bunch of the box thinking, dude, if we have, if I've smoked some, it'll be nice to go through mm -hmm. the card because then I can tell you if I liked yep. it. It's Would you have it with? Uh, probably seven different whiskeys. I probably just kept grabbing different stuff. Alcohol. We can go whatever you want. Uh, yeah. I call it a master taster. That cigar, I smoked it thinking it's unbanded. I didn't look at the price. Right. I just I just opened the box and grabbed like the cigars out. And I'm like, it's unbanded. Yep. It's probably the least um, like well-known or something like that, yeah. right? There's not a brand on it, which makes it really hard to distinguish. So I cut it and I started smoking. I'm like, oh, that's amazing. Did it yeah. say coffee and chocolate? Uh, it said cream and cedar. Okay. Paired with coffee or bourbon. I swear to God, I got chocolate on that cigar and okay. it was, I smoked that thing down to a nub. And then the last one is the old firecracker. All undisclosed, three by 50. He actually sent this, this was in the box, and um, Luxury Cigar Club this month actually sent the July box out early. early. Um, so like late June basically, so that people would have the box for 4th of July to smoke that cigar specifically on the 4th of July. Well, that looks like a statue, Fucking dude. Perfect. That looks like a statue that it, burns so well. It's got a tight, tight pack on her. Yeah, it looks like it. And it is still pulling so good. So the on the Caldwell, or the Lost and Found, I keep saying Caldwell and it's not. I mean, it, it is, is but it's not. But anyways. It's not branded under Caldwell. The Lost and Found is like the story on the Lost and Found is something similar to the Orphan Barrel series in whiskey. Yeah, Did you read it? Read it for the, the people. All right, so Lost and Found specializes in digging through cigar factories, aging rooms, and warehouses to find some heavily aged and ultra rare cigars that never made it to the, to the shelves. Orphan Barrel. The Maltitos Bastardos was rolled in 2014 and was founded in the Dominican Republic. Unfortunately, Caldwell has sworn to secrecy. <laughs> sworn. <laughs> Sworn. As <laughs> as to where the stick came from. Sure. But they were only a very limited number of cigars found, and we do know they are delicious. That's Orphan Barrel. Yeah. As the, the exact yeah. same thing. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Orphan Barrel's marketing because some of Orphan Barrel's marketing is so far out there. That doesn't sound that far out there to me. 
No. Sounds like, hey man, can I go and look at old shit in your factory? And they say yes, and you're like, cool, sounds I'll great. I'll buy it from you. Yeah, yeah, that's it, right? The Orphan Barrel stuff, some of their stories got real funky. We, we went down this abandoned 70... mine sh yeah. shaft, and there was you know, a 74 there was a year old barrel <laughs> that was uh, brewing up some liquor. And you know, we bought it, and it's good. Here you go. He had one barrel that was 32 years old. Uh, he was... said he got it from Stitzel Weller. You know, <laughs> um, it was aged in Canada though, and so we're calling it not Crown Royal. Some of the Orphan Barrel stuff gets extreme. That yeah. story is a very cool story. It's very interesting. And that cigar, I cannot believe that's $9. Yeah. I didn't know that. I don't- I'm looking forward to it now. $9. Damn, that's a good deal. Okay. So we're going to smoke these down a little bit. Sean wants to switch his whiskey out. Yep. So we're going to do that. I'm a fan we'll of this back. pairing, but I think I can do better. I think so too. For enough of that. Yeah. So we're back. Sean switched up to a mash bill too. Yeah. So I went with something that I think is nice, light and sweet up front. Yeah. And then just kind of falls on its face. Makes sense. And then that should complement this cigar a little bit better. Right. I feel over there, Chief. What'd you go with? Sometimes you just forget how good a Euro 17 is. <laughs> Klein's gonna murder you. Oh, Klein let us borrow this bottle for a different video, but. And then Dan was like, you know what? We should drink it. And I said, he's gonna kill us. I walked so, in the hut and I said to Sean, what's the most expensive life? bottle of whiskey we have in here? You are 17. I think the longer I've sat here and smoked this, the lighter it's gotten. Really? Yeah. From like, the beginning? Up front, it had like a bunch of citrus. And now I'm kind of, it's kind of gone away from that citrus note. And now I'm getting more, the leather's still there. It's like a nice light woodiness. No earthiness, no real creaminess, just leather and wood. Yeah? Yeah. Um, very weird. Mind you, that's supposed to be around six and a half dollar cigar. So, I like that we're smoking very different things right now. $30, $6, $40 bottle of whiskey, very expensive bottle. I didn't even whiskey. think of that. I'm very pleased. This cigar has gotten better throughout, mm. all, not quite half of it probably. It's get? gotten more woody, more cedary. Obviously that was right the first time, nailed it. It's gotten more cedary and mm. far more peppery throughout the cigar. There's way more spice now. It's a hickory plank if I've ever that one? had one. That yeah. <laughs> hickory plank. Uh-huh, hundred percent. That's hickory, plank that ain't hickory. cedar. That's hickory. I still like it. Um, I mean, what am I gonna say is wrong with a $6 stick? Oh my God. How you doing there? That you were. That's a life-changing whiskey. You gonna cut that in yet? That's a life-changing whiskey. That's a fantastic whiskey. Now, when Klein let us borrow this, I did say we wouldn't even open it, but it's a $30 cigar. We didn't, Dan. <laughs> we actually, Sean and I, it was like the ghost scene where he's helping her make the pottery, mm -hmm. the clay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sean actually held my hand as we lifted the cork together. Listen, look at these, dude. I mean, find two drastically better bottles of whiskey to drink. Klein is gonna be really mad. So now you guys can He's watch already driving to your house. What actually happened, but um, we have an Eagle Rare store pick that you can actually see me pouring. Um, <laughs> Insert here. Yeah. So needless to say, uh, it's not Eagle Rare 17, but this Harlan Wheatley. Just put that somewhere that you can't knock it off the table. What if I put it against the leg? Why don't you just hand it's it over here? It's against the leg. You think you're more responsible than Yes. Me? I don't think anybody agrees with you. I actually poured an Eagle Rare store pick. This is probably our favorite store pick. This one was signed by Harlan Wheatley. Mm -hmm. And it says the proof, to Dan and Sean, the proof is in the pour. Harlan Wheatley, Master Distiller from Buffalo Trace. Weird flex, but okay. No, I just wanted everybody to know what it says because everybody's gonna be like, what does it say? And now I said it. How do you feel about the box this month? I think this box, this month's box might have been my favorite one yet. From what you've had? Yeah, I've had a lot of it. And then you've told me. Yes. And then just smoking this as one of the eh, middle of the road ones. Like this is the cheapest one in the box. Well, along with the other two, I mean, they average out. Right. I, I got nowhere to go but up. Yeah. Very excited for this one. Getting month. seven cigars for $50 is already That's a good insane. deal. One of those cigars being 30 bucks and the rest of them not being really cheap is an incredible deal. Yeah. The Point Luxury Cigar Club is trying a bunch of different stuff every month for 50 bucks. Um, and it's always, it always punches up value wise. So it's yet, it's is, yet to let me down. But yeah, if you guys want, check out luxurycigarclub.com. Use the code on the screen. The code's also in the description. Link's also in the description. Yeah. Check them out. Um, show them some love. They also have a shop where you can buy a lot of the cigars that show up in the boxes in yep. their shop. So do that as well. Which we've both gone in and bought stuff out of the box yeah. just to have yep. because we've been a big fan of trying what was in you there. You get to try it. And just being like, dang, that's great. Decide I'll, if you I'll want to buy I'll take some it. of those. Yep. Thank you guys it's for being here. here.
Um, thank you for joining us for another week of a little bit of extra content, a little yeah. cigar content on the channel. A little more us. Yeah. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Check out Patreon, Facebook. Check out the shop because there's a bunch a of ton, bunch of stuff. Uh, flip flops are for sale. Coasters are for sale. We might, we may or may not have some uh, custom Calibri cutters coming. Maybe a torch. We'll see. We Needless to say, we do. The uh, proof or nope. the smoke. There you go. Is in the draw. There you go. Thank you guys for being here. Taglines.